had some struggles today. What, what were the what, what do you think the root of the struggles were? Well, you know, early in camp, I mean, offensively is different than defense. I mean, all 11 guys got to execute. Uh, anywhere I've been early in camp, you kind of have your ups and downs offensively, and you start off a little sh slow. Usually the defense is, is gets a little bit ahead. But we also had some issues a couple periods where we start off, we got a couple bad snaps. Uh, receivers jump off sides when we're trying to go on a hard count. And we just never got it going right there and never really executed and got rolling. Um, had, still had some good things out there. Usually every time you come in, you think you did bad. It's never as bad as you thought it was, and it's always never as good as you thought it was. But, uh, you know, that's just early in camp for an offense, second day in pads. It seemed like, though, this is the fourth day that this was probably the worst one. Is that alarming in any way that you had three good days and then no, I mean, the first two days are short. You know, you're out there doing skelly. And then I thought yesterday for pads, we really came out jacked up. Our guys were fired up. They executed well. Today, the defense came out. They had some emotion. We struggled with a couple snaps. We struggled being on sides, making some plays. And, you know, camp's always going to go back and forth. And that doesn't, I mean, tomorrow we could come out and have a great day offensively. Talk to you Monday and now it's Thursday. I guess you can just kind of compare Monday and Thursday in terms of the quarterbacks and what you've seen so far. You know what? They're both getting better. Um, obviously, Cody's going to be – Cody's still learning the offense, whereas Ryan knows the offense a lot better. But uh, they're both doing well. They're taking care of the football, which is, is our main goal right now. Because you look last, back at last year, turnovers cost us at least one, maybe two wins, in my opinion. And you never know what happens if you might have won those games. So turnovers are our big issue, taking care of the football. They're both doing better there. They're doing better with their plays. And, and, and both those guys are getting better every day. All the young quarterbacks are coming along, and it's great. You've got five guys out there, really, that, that, that I feel like now or in the future are going to be really good players. What would you say Cody's biggest thing to maybe conquer before, say, like next weekend scrimmage when you go live? It's just to where he doesn't have to think right now. And right now, the kid's a smart kid. Uh, I know the offense they ran at Iowa, and it's a very uh, professional offense as far as run checks and everything. He'll get it easy. It still takes time and reps for you to get to where you're doing it without thinking. And he still has to go out there and sit there in his head and say, OK, I'm running this play, and kind of think for a second to picture it. And, and that just that slows you down a little bit. And as soon as that stops, I mean, I think he'll make big jumps right there and be fine. Coach, if you could compare last year's offensive line at this point to this year's offensive line, what would you say? Could you? Would it be? No. Would I mean, I don't, I don't even think it's close where we're at right now. I think we've got some kids in there that are better players, but I also think we've got kids in there that have now been with our offense and our offensive line for a year and understanding it, and you're starting to build something there. And the offensive line is the biggest position on offense where I just think that's so important. So I feel good where they're at. You know, obviously, they still got a long ways to go, but we're a lot farther off than we were last year. Back to Cody. Um, in your mind, if there's like one thing or anything that you maybe see off the field that the media or the fans don't see on the practice field, what would Cody have? With, with I'll tell you, Cody's biggest thing that he brings in, he was a starter for two years at his junior college, and they had a really good football team. He went to a Big Ten University of Iowa. He was there for two years. The coaches I talked to there loved him. He, he brings to the offensive, to the quarterback position, the experience, the leadership, the – you know, he, he just he just exudes that. He comes in. It's like bringing a veteran quarterback in type of deal. So I think if that's the thing that you don't see if you're just watching practice, that's one of the biggest things that he brings. And maybe how does that show up in the, in the film room or anything like that that, that you've noticed? That, have you noticed anything like that? In the film room? Yeah, or a, anything just off the field. It's more, it's more things out there, how he communicates with other players, what he does. The way he acts out there is, is what I, was, well, I would expect a third or fourth year starter quarterback to act like, and how he handles the offensive line when they make a mistake, how he handles the receivers when they make a mistake, how he handles the whole offense. He just, he's done it. He's been there before. He's been through it. He's experienced. He's older. I mean, you know, people all, sometimes people want to get on Ryan a little bit. Ryan was a redshirt freshman last year. I mean, he was. I mean, there's a lot of kids that don't even start until their third year in college, and he was his second year in college. Um, he's still young and he's coming along, but Cody's been around for a while, and you can tell. Do you feel like your depth on your offense is better this, this year than it was last year? Absolutely. I mean, we've got. We're going to have more depth at the running back position. We're going to be a lot deeper at quarterback. Uh, offensive line, I feel better. Wide receiver, we're better. Uh, now we finally got some big bodies. It doesn't mean we're going to be in those sets all the time, but now we can put a fullback in a game. We can put a tight end in a game. We can do some things depending on the situation, what we want to do. So we're a lot farther off than we were last year as far as depth and, and personnel. A lot of new kids on the offense, so there's a lot of learning to be done, especially early in camp. Do you kind of, is the 
offense kind of where you expect to be at this point? Are you seeing some kids finally starting to grasp some concepts? Yeah, I mean, they're starting to pick it up. It's, it's going to take, I mean, we're really new and we're really young. I mean, it's going to take a week or two here of camp getting through it. You're going to have your ups and downs. You're going to have kids start to get this concept, start to pick this up. Next thing you know, we add this or this, a couple more things, and then it changes. And, and, and they're going to pick it up, but it's just, you know, there's a reason that quarterbacks that have played three years in a row or, you know, I mean, experience is everything. And that's the one thing we're lacking right now, and it'll get better every time we go out there.